If it were up to grasshoppers, great golden digger wasps wouldn't exist. These hunting hawks of the insect world prey mainly on hoppers and crickets. It's only safe while they're fueling up on the nectar of wildflowers. After that, it's all business. And the business of digger wasps is making more wasps. Theirs is a busy and frenetic life, energetic beyond anything in the higher animal world. After mating, the female digs a burrow in soft soil, usually about six inches long. From this main tunnel, she digs shorter side cells to act as nurseries. The digging is constant and rapid for up to several days until her home is complete. A dime-sized hole with a pile of soil is the only clue it's there. Then the wasp goes hunting. She flies and runs through grass to look for prey. She stings a victim with just enough venom to subdue it. Then she flies or drags it back to her home, pulling the living but paralyzed insect into a side chamber and laying a single egg. Over the next few weeks, the tiny wasp grub eats its host alive. It matures and stays in its cell through the winter, emerging as a new adult the following year. The active digger wasp fills and caps each nursery cell and then she plugs and camouflages the entrance. This careful ritual helps protect her own young from another fearsome nest predator velvet ant that hunts for digger wasp burrows. This ant digs and lays its own eggs on the developing wasp larvae. In the natural world, nothing is safe. Great golden digger wasps, a fascinating hunter in the prairie landscape. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.